opened spider which is a python editor and i am writing a code to implement find s algorithm in the program i will be using a data set a dot csv file and we use csv module that is commonly used module in python 3 so we use import csv import csv the csv format is the most common import and export format for the spreadsheets and databases the csv module implements classes to read and write tabular data in csv format in our data set there are six attributes and last column is concept that is output to iterate through these columns we need a variable with value 6 so consider a variable num attribute with value we will print and see print we will put it in the next line the total number of attributes in data set comma variable name num underscore attribute attribute let's make it attributes we will save this if you are running this one in the first time then definitely when you run this one program then the spider editor will ask you to save the python file so if i run you can see the total number of attributes in the data set is 6. Next step is to store the data of CSV file. So we need a list. Let's create a list with the name data. Data is equal to a list. We will now open the .csv file in read mode. We write with open. The name of the .csv file is enjoy sport dot csv and we are opening that one in read mode so that need to be specified in a single quotes then as i need a variable name so i will take it as csv file colon i need one more variable to get this content so i will take reader is equal to csv dot reader inside bracket parameter csv file reader will have all the rows and we will make a list of all these rows and store it in data. To print these rows, I need a loop. Consider for loop. For row in reader colon a dot append the row. Then print row. Let's check it. I will save the file. Control S. Then I will run the code. So if you see the content of the dot csv file which is comma separated values that will be stored in a list how i will come to know that it is a list if you see the output you can see the square brackets here that will indicate that this is stored in a list in the output all the four instances are printed reading and printing of this dot csv file is over next we will implement the find s algorithm first step of find s algorithm is initialize the hypothesis with null values that is zero there are six attributes in our case and we need six null values right hypothesis is equal to we need six null and multiply this one with six so that i can get it six number of times i know that number of attributes has got the value six so i will use that attributes if i print that print hypothesis then i should be able to get I will save control s then i will run you see i got six null values next step in find s algorithm is compare this hypothesis that is this hypothesis with the first training example that is x1 in our case so here is the x1 to iterate through this x1 that is the first list i need a loop let us consider for loop so before that let's make it a little bit better i will give a print command so that we can easily make out what is happening the initial hypothesis colon so this will be our initial hypothesis we will consider one for loop for j in so i need to iterate through six times so from i will take range range zero comma number of attributes this will give me six times i can go through the whatever i will write it here so hypothesis of the first element is equal to a this 
data of 0 and j. What this command will do? We know that in hypothesis we need this 6 null values. So, to iterate through this list I have taken a for loop and the range is given from 0 to 6. Num attributes has got 6. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is considered. Total is 6 items. So, hypothesis of the first element that is j. That is 0 first, next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So, 0th element will be data of 0th row and this is 0th column. Next one is 0th row, first column like that. All the 6 null values will be stored in this hypothesis. Hypothesis 0 will indicate H0 that is our first instance in this hypothesis. In the next step, I need to compare this hypothesis with the first row in the data set. So, for that, we will consider this diagram. What is our work? Here is the data set which is stored in the form of a dot csv and it has got four instances and in every instance I have got six attributes. So, I need to compare the first element of the hypothesis with the first element of the first instance. So, sunny and zero need to be compared. If they are same, then keep it as it is. If they are not same, then you need to replace it with a question mark. So, what is the logic? From 0 to 4, that is these instances, the finders algorithm will work only for the positive instances. So, I need to check the concept. Concept is available in the last column. That we need to check first. So, if the last element is yes, then you compare this one. That is, again we need to go through 0 to 6 means I need to go through all these attribute values. So, sunny is compared with 0. If they are not same, then I need to replace it with a question mark. So, 0 to 6, if data of 0 of 0, this one 0 of 0, it is not equal to hypothesis first element 0, then hypothesis of the this one that is H0 already we have printed H1 that will be your first element will be the question mark. If it is not there means they are same. You can fetch from here also or here also. So, hypothesis of 0 is itself need to be copied with the data of 0, 0. If this is not true means you are not having yes here. The concept is not positive then in that cases you need to simply write the earlier hypothesis. If earlier hypothesis is H0 then you just copy it as H1. This concept we will be writing in a in the form of a code. First we will print print backslash n find s finding a maximally specific hypothesis then dash dash n. I will take a loop so that I can go from 0 to 4 for i in range again 0 to comma. I know it is length of data that contains up to 4. Next I need to check whether the last column is yes. If data of i and num underscore attribute, if this value is yes, then I need to proceed further. That is again one more loop up to, I need to go up to 6 attribute values for j in range. 0, comma, num attributes
to achieve this logic in the program we need to write this code that is if data of ij is not equal to hypothesis that is this is our hypothesis data of ij is our first attribute value in the instance x1 that is if sunny is not equal to 0 then hypothesis j is equal to next hypothesis the first element need to be replaced with the question mark else if they are equal then that need to be replaced with sunny that is what this will do hypothesis j is equal to data of ij data of ij will take will be coming over here just print the output the dot format function is the string format it is one of the string formatting methods in python 3 which will allow multiple substitutions and value formatting for example here we need to print two values one is in the place of zero here and next hypothesis here there are two for that reason we have used dot format finally we will print the maximally specific hypothesis the message and then print the hypothesis we will clear the console first and we will execute this code so as i have explained in the manually solving of the find s algorithm we can see the final result here this is the maximally specific hypothesis for a given training sample 